Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and today it's going to be another very interesting video talking about potential for a very cold swell of weather in the UK, possibly even reaching um, beast from the east standards or this beast from the east threshold. Um, but just before I start, I just want to say um, thank you everyone who has supported my channel in the last few days. Um, we just got our first video to reach a thousand views, which is crazy. Um, and also the last video that I did also got um, loads of views, almost 800 views and loads of likes as well. So thank you so much everyone who's been helping my channel over the last few days. So the first chart that I've got to look at today is the 850 HPA temperature, which is about 1.5 kilometers, the temperature about 1.5 kilometers and the sea level pressure. And it's the mean from the um, European model. And the first thing that you notice is that we have low pressure to the southwest of the UK. And then we also have high pressure building out to the north of the UK like this. We have a bit of a low pressure over parts of Europe, northern Italy, that kind of area. Um, and then what happens is because winds flow um, clockwise around high pressure like this, um, we're dragging in a very cold wind um, right from Russia, right from parts of Scandinavia. And so it's going to be a very, very um, chilly um, wind that's coming in. It's a very cold um, easterly wind. Um, that's where the word beast from the east comes from. Um, and what you can see here where this purple um this purple contour is is that's where the temperatures are reaching minus 10 degrees or below uh, this is still 1.5 kilometers but that is very very cold um actually it's still very very cold even for 1.5 kilometers um and what happens when we get these very cold uh, air temperatures over the slightly the slightly milder uh, waters of the North Sea is we get a very large temperature difference and that temperature difference causes instability which then leads to um, p quite persistent and frequent snow showers at times and, and that is what the beast on the east is, those very frequent snow showers moving in from the North Sea. Now this is what I was just saying, those very frequent snow showers um, and although this doesn't, we don't know if this is going to happen right now, it is still a very possible solution that what the ECMWF model is showing um, happens. And this would be very, very um, high impact, higher end scenario where we see widely 10 to 15 centimetres over parts of Eastern England, almost 20 centimetres in that part of East Anglia just there, but also a massive amount of snow over parts of Scotland. Look at that, 1.5 metres of snow right there. And that's not just focused in one location, it's pretty widely across pretty much all of Scotland, as you can see, and especially focused in the eastern half. And I expect that we probably have snow streamers like this, and also probably one like this. And if we just check, oh yeah, here we go. So this is that, this is the same thing that I just showed you. Um, but this is just showing the actual current precipitation. And those snow showers I was just talking about, we have them in bands of streamers what we call them here where the snow showers organize into bands and that will be producing those very big accumulation and accumulations in these areas and these areas this is another weather model this is the uk v weather model from the met office this is kind of a high resolution weather model so generally a bit more trustworthy and you can see a very similar thing here low pressure like this that cold um, northeastly or easterly and just those pink colours represent snow and just look how frequent that snow is um, especially across parts of Scotland um, into parts of the central belt here but also across parts of eastern England and I expect that snow threat to kind of transfer a bit further south um, during the next few um, if this model run continued which it sadly doesn't but also look how cold the air gets at 1.5 kilometres minus 15 degrees and I'd say that with quite confident that that is based on the east standards and um, not so cold over the actual uk but still minus 12 minus 11 minus 8 so very very cold temperatures um if this were to happen if you look at the uk weather warnings you can see here we have a yellow warning of snow now this starts on this starts on uh sorry sorry everyone so this starts on friday as you can see here uh, at um at midnight on friday uh, and wait, yeah, anyway, so uh, I don't think it's midnight on Friday, but doesn't matter. This starts on Friday, very early morning, and you can see here it covers parts of, um, parts of, so it covers basically, um, Scotland, and I'm not sure if it just about gets into parts of Northern England. I don't think it does, but 
especially eastern areas of Scotland, are definitely at quite a high risk. And it's very highlighted here by this warning. And this warning is definitely quite, sorry, um, this warning is definitely a higher impact warning. Look at this. On the matrix, we have the, the, the highest possible impact. And just it's just a low likelihood at the moment. And this makes me think that we could see possibly an upgrade to amber. In fact, an upgrade to amber is quite likely, in my opinion. And there is a small chance, um, but however, it is a chance at this stage that we could possibly see an upgrade to a red warning. And if you look at the type, the kind of totals, we could see 20 to 30 centimetres. That is a lot of snow, almost a foot of snow um, above 200 metres. And then 5 to 10, possibly even 20 centimetres where they get the most showers um, to low levels. I mean, that's pretty crazy. And I think that chance is probably highest um, around this these areas that this kind of region right here that I just have drawn that's what we could possibly see up to 20 centimeters locally and that would happen when we just have snow showers after snow showers after snow showers piling into the region and so it does look like we could possibly see um, some sort of beast from the east if you look at the surface pressure chart um, from the Met Office, this is on Saturday, so just as this cold swell is beginning, we have that low pressure system pulling out to the southeast, and then we get those cold easterly winds, and you can see coming right from parts of Russia, um, Scandinavia, with um, high pressure towards Greenland, um, and the jet stream in this scenario would probably be quite far south, so not really any mild um, weather getting close to the UK. And where we have those these black lines signifying fronts, that's where we'd have the potential rain and snow, and I expect that this would have an even colder easterly if it continued, which it sadly doesn't. This is an also a chart um, from the Met Office. I'm just going to zoom in a bit here because it's quite hard to see otherwise. But it's showing firstly the upper level wind pattern, which is on this side, and then the low level wind pattern, which is on this side. And we're going to be focusing on the lower one here. And this is for, I think, Saturday, midday on Saturday. Um, and you can see the jet stream at the upper levels is being sent to the south. You can see that because these um, isobars um, at the upper levels are being um, packed tightly together. They're not actually isobars, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, and then you can see we have those low pressure systems being sent to the southeast. And then we have that low pressure here bringing in this all important easterly wind. And we have that high pressure to the north. Um, and it could be potentially very, very cold. The same thing here. This is, again, that basically what I just showed you there, but um, in a different format with that low pressure here and this um, easterly, northeasterly wind being pushed in to parts of the UK. And I mean, it does look like we po could possibly see beast from the east standards. This is something called the ensemble chart. And this is from the... Uh, GEM model. Uh, I'm not using the GFS right now, but you can see here we have um, good agreement that it will get colder um, through maybe the 4th of February, a touch milder with some low pressure systems, and then it all starts around the 6th of February, about the weekend, where things just really start to plummet temperature wise. And even though there is still quite a bit of scatter between these, um, between the ensembles, if I just clear this out, you can see that there is a majority that um, the, the majority of the lines are starting to move towards this minus 10 degrees Celsius mark. And that is for London as well. So it does look like it could get very cold. If I just count how many. So we've got um, about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So about eight of the, oops, sorry, didn't mean to do that, everyone. But about eight of the uh, ensemble members are actually uh, temperatures of minus 10 degrees or more. That is pretty much um, it from me today. Thank you very much for watching, everyone, if you're still watching. And it does look like you could see a very cold, um, very cold spell coming out with UK snow risk, especially in parts of Scotland and eastern England, um, and possibly even reaching beast on the east standards. Thank you, everyone. Bye.